You can never explain or put into enough words what it was versus what it is. It's the difference between night and day. This is my story. I moved back up here six and a half, seven years ago and really got to meet Michael for the first time. And uh, he was, it was a neat kid, really. Uh, couldn't tie that kid down, he had so much energy. But it, it, for some unknown reason at the time, he had some emotional outbursts that people couldn't begin to understand. A volcano it, it's sort of like people. It erupts at the slightest thing that touches it inside and things you throw at it. I've always said Michael's life was like the boy that was raised by wolves. When he came to me, he was dirty, his hair was out of control, uh, probably hadn't had a bath in a month, easy. Um, didn't have a pair of shoes, didn't have any underwear, and just skinny, uh, might have been 75 or 80 pounds. He told me one time, he said, I know things I'll never tell. And he never has. He's never been a kid. He's always had to be an adult. And it's, it torments him. He wanted to be a kid and not have to deal with, is mom gonna come home tonight? Is there gonna be food? When I got him, I got him at the end of a school year. He hadn't been to school in two months. And I talked to him and he said, I won't go to school. If, uh, if you send me to school, I'll run. I later found out that the previous year he had uh, threatened to take a machete to school and kill everybody in his class. And these are all the things I'm looking at and I'm never having dealt with none of this before. Going, there's gotta be a place that knows about this. Because the regular schools, public schools are telling me we can't help you. None, the school boards, none of them. I mean, I called it everybody. It was actually the previous year's teacher, we got to talk and she said, you know what? This is who, you need to call St. Vincent's. And I said, well, you know, I make a decent living, but I don't make enough money to send them to a private school. And she said, no, why don't you give them a call? St. Vincent's was able to look at it and go, you know, he's a prime candidate for our school. He should have been with us years ago. And I said, well, you don't understand. This, this child has lived with no rules, nobody to tell him no. It would be nothing for me to find him on the street at 12.30 at night at nine years old, just riding his bike or whatever. He does trust no one. I ended up walking around and seeing things. I was really impressed with it because I got to see, it ain't just my boy that there's something wrong with. So I, I felt comfortable sending him to school. Well, he went, and it was a long time before we saw an improvement. Because he figured, oh, they sit me over in this room like I did at the other schools. Well, St. Vincent's wasn't quite that way. There was some great therapists at St. Vincent's. They've not only been there for him, they've been there for us. He has the the one-on-one, -on -one. he has the group, he has the academic. Um, it's just like family, you know, hey, how's it going? Cause it's, it's wonderful, I really like having him there. Allison is wonderful, we can talk to her, I talked to her today. And there was episodes in the first six, eight months when Michael attacked a lady at St. Vincent's. He swung on her, tried to hit her. They are like erupting, like getting mad and beating people up and throwing things at them. Two years ago, I started sleeping on this couch because I was afraid of what Michael would do to my son in the night. I used to hit stuff. 
you never knew when he was going to have an episode. He, we sat him down. We said, you know, this is what it's going to be, son. We have to control this. This can't happen no more. Because the police wanted him to be institutionalized. And I was, uh, I will let you know. No. So he has a sensitive side. You just haven't seen it. I found the boy in the bathtub at 2 o'clock in the morning in a fetal position in a panic. And he don't, he don't know why. But I have to tell him it's okay. I'm not mad at you for he will come back from it. So the first year was pretty rough. The second year was so much better. He met somebody at St. Vincent's that reminded him of my mother and part of his mother. And him and this woman make leaps and bounds. I, I could not, I could not possibly explain. It was like watching a cocoon and a butterfly open up. It was amazing to see what was happening. What I like about Mr. Tony is he's honest with you. Miss Tina, she's fun. Like, we can do a lot of hands-on science. We go to a group when we have discussions and sometimes journal. Graduation is, is a wonderful thing to see. And I was never so proud as that moment when I put my arm around him, I said, son, you did good. You did very good. Who's gonna get our scholarship award? And if you were to meet him today, you would never know that that boy ever had a violent thought in his life. And he's calm. He is a, he's a good kid. 5'7", 180 pounds. He loves kids, he loves dogs. He's got younger cousins. And oh, he, I'm telling you, I would trust him with a newborn baby. He's that gentle. Watch what I do, I'll teach you how. Get your foot on there. Every bit of this, he earned with their help. They try to help me work on my problems. They provide him with the tools and the guidance, and they help teach me how to provide him with the tools and the guidance. One day I want to go to college. He has voiced several times about going to college. Before it was kind of like, <laughs> if I get you through, you know, junior high, let's do one step at a time. But now we are looking, we're looking towards the future on it. And he's a lot better about learning things now. Before you just couldn't teach that boy hardly nothing without getting loud or getting mad or hollering. There's not enough places like this for kids. I would do anything for those people. If it wasn't for them, I don't know what a lot of kids would do. It to me, it's been the greatest school there ever was. They took my boy, who nobody wanted, was scared of him, and said, oh, come on over. Let's have some fun. He's just happy.